everybody after about a month or so i am going to try to image the horsehead nebula and of course got to install a new firmware and i and i really really hate that because things that were working great with the previous firmware runs a risk of not working so great here with this new firmware and uh we're just gonna have to see how it goes but it is extremely aggravating i think i've had a lot of videos where um i've said that at this point it's probably like kicking a dead horse but there you go i just really uh am not really into all the updates or give you the option of not updating powering on ready to connect all right i guess we finally have the uh, firmware updated going to open arm and take off the dust cover on the lens and the dust cover does shrink when it gets really cold and it's kind of dicey putting it back on when the session is over with i tried this uh last time out i think i was imaging the pleiades and the dust cover got caught between the lens and the mount and the gears were mashing up and it was not a good deal but i believe we're past that now and we are going to try to go for the horse head, uh, what? Yeah, I thought we have already done this. All right, so um, Nebula, let's see if we can find the horse head here. There it is. Finding objects. All right, and the whole idea here, I think, is I'm going to want to uh, probably do a mosaic to get the complete horse head. And apparently, you know, it just installed the firmware. It did not complain about uh, leveling or anything, so I'm assuming it was level. I don't think I uh, turned that off in the firmware. But before we start imaging, after we get everything all set up here, we are going to go and refocus to make sure that we're in proper focus. Object is center. All right, object is center, horizontal calibration, uh, okay. Yeah, now all of a sudden the sea star was not pointing at the horse head, but uh, it moved south. So I guess that's part of the horizontal calibration. Not really sure what this is, to be honest with you. Who's got time to read patch notes? Finding object. And it is kind of windy out, so I didn't check the uh, wind speed, but uh, yeah, it is pretty windy. Object is center. Preparing for image enhancing. All right, so after this little bit, those stars really do not look like they are in focus. So we are going to focus. with my Edge HD8 uh, a couple days ago on the 29th. And I got a pretty good image except for the, um, the ring effect you see here on the side. Um, but a lot of people get that. There's a lot of different reasons why that could be. Um, let me know down below in the comments if you think you know why Mars gets a ring effect like that. Is it from over sharpening? miscalimation artifact of the atmosphere or what but it seems most prominent on mars auto -focusing. oh autofocusing there you go so i don't have to autofocus that is awesome thank you very much zwo <laughs> tell you this doesn't really look like a great uh, focus right here I don't know what you guys think but uh, yeah this uh, it's not looking all that great I 
guess it might be okay. You can kind of see the uh, the horse head right there. So I'm going to stop this, and we're going to go to framing, and we're going to increase the frame, and we're going to rotate the frame. Yeah, that should be good. Going to hit a go to. Yeah, because that is the whole basic complex of the uh, Horsehead Nebula, the classic view. Object is center. Start enhancing image. All right, so now hopefully we can take some uh, images and. Um, and start racking up unless of course it is too windy we are going to find out and th that is hopefully oh uh, anyway I don't know if this is really going to be the problem or not but um, that is it for basically this uh, video and my attempt to go to the Horsehead Nebula and do a mosaic of the entire Horsehead complex uh, check out the end of the video to see what kind of images we can stack if we can stack anything. Clear skies, everybody.